Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. It's time for another fun video, it's time for another ranking video, and we're here to rank the AHL logos. Now you haven't ranked them, I have ranked them from my uh, least favorite to favorite. There's 29 logos, there's actually 30 teams, but one of the teams is redesigning their logo at the time, so I just didn't include it. So 1 to 29, we're going to start with 29 and go all the way to my favorite, number 1. Your job is to tell me what you think of each logo, or just basically a thumbs up, thumbs down. You don't have to go into great detail, okay. just you know, just give me your thoughts, color commentary, that kind of thing. So this is my list. This isn't your list. This isn't your list. This isn't the next guy's list. This is my list. Completely subjective. This isn't an official list. My list is going to be different from your list. So don't get your nipples in a twist. Like this, is, <laughs> don't don't leave some hate. Leave your list down below. But this is my list. All right, let's start with number 29, and that's the Belleville Senators. What's your thought thoughts on this this logo? Well, I wonder what uh, you know <laughs> franchise they are representing. Yeah, right? exactly. I mean, and that's kind of why kind of gives it away. So really, there's not a lot to really critique here. I mean, we did that with the Ottawa Senators logo in a previous video. So you know, I mean, it is what it is. I don't despise the Ottawa logo, but it's not one of my favorites. But yeah, yeah it's still a thumbs up. I mean, it is a solid logo. I rank this this low because, I mean, they just took the Ottawa Senators logo and then got lazy and put Belleville's right. logo at the bottom. They could have done something. Well, at um, least they kept the same color scheme. You know? I, yeah, at least they did. And at least they, they did They that. had a different logo the year before, and it was more cartoony. And it was mm. completely different. And then this is their new logo for this upcoming right, year. Right, so right. I think it was a step backwards, but that's just my opinion. So number 28, the Iowa Wild. So very similar to the that uh, one right. of the jerseys that the uh, Minnesota Wild wear. Again, just kind of lazy, I guess. I don't know. It just doesn't do anything for me. I look at this, and you know instantly what I think of? This is a baseball team. Oh, yeah. I That's exactly that. what this screams to me, because this really looks like, you know, Major League Baseball yeah. franchise, just I can based see that on this logo. Like, this would be perfect on, you know, a ball jersey, mm. to me. Yeah, no, so, I definitely see uh, This one, to me, is getting a thumbs down. I, I, I just don't think hockey when I see this, unfortunately. And you, I should have said this at the beginning, but you, there's some logos in here that you've never seen before, and there's, oh, prob probably. there's probably some that you have yeah. seen as well. Number 27, this is the new, uh, I think, Laval Rocket logo. They've moved... <laughs> the Canadians' uh, AHL team has right. moved from... St. John's to Laval, this, or their affiliate or whatever. This is awful. I don't like this at all. No. This is awful. It's, yeah. Again, it could be a baseball team. Uh, could be a football team. Could be. A, yeah, this is just awful. Like this is an instant thumbs down. This doesn't pop at all. It's just lazy. It's just lazy. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing that really draws you into this mm. whatsoever. Like to me, uh, it's, it's a that's, complete disaster. I mean, I, I get it. Everyone knows what it is. Mm. It's it's the rocket. It's you know rocket Richard. Right. But. It's just it's just boring a little bit. So. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. Number 26, the Ontario Rain, uh, a straight ripoff of the yeah. 90s yeah. Los Angeles Kings logo, and uh, it's worse. Mm -hmm. It's worse than than the original Los Angeles one. And I, I don't know, I just don't yeah. like it. I don't I don't really like black and white in general. So I'm giving this a thumbs up just because of the amazing flashback it's giving me right now. Yeah. To me as a child, you know, rooting for the LA Kings in the ninety three cup final, hoping Gretzky would win another cup. That's what this takes me back to. But yeah, I agree. I mean, it's a complete rip off. Um, I mean not on purpose, obviously. Yeah, yeah, obviously on purpose, but they could have changed it a little bit. Yeah, they could have did something to yeah. make it unique, make it their own. Different colors genuine. or something. Yeah. Number 25 is the Toronto Marlies. <laughs> and they had a, another, another one of these teams that had a different logo last year. God. Changed it to this new one, and I think it looks worse. What? I'm not even sure what this is really supposed to represent. It looks like a, uh, a Crown Royal logo or something. Yeah. I don't know, just, and it looks like bread is slowly rising inside. As if it's, it's in an yeah. oven. And suddenly someone is hiding brass knuckles inside the bread to deliver to their friend who's in prison to try to escape, you know, knock out the prison guard. I mean, this is awful. This is like two images. Someone used paint and put them on top of each other and said, this is our logo. Like, this yeah. is pathetic. This I, I is like, awful. I like the maple leaf on the outside. Why can't it just know, be the Toronto maple leaf? Toronto Marilies. But just yeah. put something, like, else on the... On, on the logo, like put Toronto Marlies or whatever. whatever I say just the blue maple leaf. Yeah. Doesn't even need to say anything. And that's basically what it was before. Mm. They changed it. Like that is awful. Number 24, Stockton Heat. What's the first thing when you, when you think of what sport? Basketball. Ba yeah, me too. Uh, that's Instantly, why I, yeah. I think basketball. But this is a lot better. You know, this is unique. There is some dimension to that franchise. Here. So yes. I do 
like this one. So far, this is my favorite out of what I've seen so far. Um, this one's unique to that franchise. But yeah, it doesn't scream hockey to me. 100% basketball. That's the yeah. first thing I thought of when I looked at it. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> so this is the Providence Bruins. Pretty similar to the Boston Bruins logo, just with a P instead of a B. Yeah, they cut off a piece of the B and said, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, they've used swampy. this logo for the past 25 years or 30 years or something mm -hmm. like that. So I understand it and I respect it. And It could be worse. I mean, I, I'm just going to stay neutral on this one because I'm not the biggest fan of the Boston logo to begin with. But again, to me, I, this is just kind of lazy. I wish they would have had something more unique. Mm -hmm. You know, I really like when they're unique <laughs> to each individual team, franchise, that sort of thing. Ah, here we go. Number 22, Chicago yeah. Wolves. Now, now this I like. Yeah, this is, the, you can tell it's hockey. You can mm -hmm. see the hockey puck behind the wolf head. You can see mm -hmm. the hockey stick. He's angry. It matches their mascot, which is Skates, I think his name is. He was the guy with the fire in the background right. at the time. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's just a- Yeah, this is an instant thumbs up for me. I really like this. There's a lot of detail here. I feel like it could be a little bit more detailed. I feel it's a, a bit two-dimensional, but there is a lot, there is a lot of like color detail and, and mm -hmm. line detail and stuff. But yeah, I I, I mean I ranked twenty second, but I do like it. Yeah, I like this one. The Rochester Americans. Now, there's just something okay. about this logo that I like, and I'm I'm not usually a big fan of writing, right. in logos, but for whatever reason. Uh, I do like this one. I don't, I think it's just the play of the background tilted a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I like it. If I had to think of one thing that I dislike about it, it would be the font used for mm -hmm. the word Americans. Uh, to me, that font just you know just screams baseball again. Like yeah, baseball it does keep, look like a baseball logo. Yeah, yeah, it just keeps coming up. If that font was different, something that popped a little more instead of you know this cursive writing, um, I think I'd be more of a fan of it. Uh, I'm going to stay neutral on this one. I'm not thumbs up or thumbs down just because of the font. I'm not a big fan of that one. Mm. Number 20, the Springfield Thunderbird. Love this. Yeah, you like it? Well, this is instantly unique, you know, and they're playing directly off the team name and whatnot. Um, yeah, this is a huge win for me. This is an instant thumbs up. I really I like really the like colors. Uh, you know, like you said, it's unique. Yep. I just wish they had have done more with the bird. He just looks like he, I don't know, he, he orders some fries and then he dropped them all on the floor or something like that. Well, he actually, just, he looks like he's waiting for them to come to a decision on a coach's challenge. Yes, he does. That's <laughs> my face. <laughs> yeah, I just, I mean, Thunderbirds, you could make yeah. such an impressive logo with that. I, would, mm -hmm. I just feel like it's just a little bit of a missed opportunity. Number 19, <laughs> the uh, Rockford Ice Hogs. I love this name. It's such a, I mean, it's 19. I, I feel like that's right. kind of a poor ranking, but I, I do kind of like this. I'm getting like, I'm getting into logos where I, mm -hmm. I, I like now, basically. Yep. The Rockford Ice Hog logo is very unique. It's mm -hmm. cartoony. It, it says hockey. Right. But that font really ruined it for me. It's just a little too childish. Childish. Yeah. That's, that, yeah. that's the exact word I was thinking. You know, this is looking like something that can maybe you know say disney tried to reboot the magic from the mighty ducks film <laughs> yeah. the rockford ice hogs you know this this could be a gold mine for disney with mm. children um it just screams childish the logo itself as well as the team name however i am still a fan of this yeah it, there's just something about it that i do like yeah i, I do like uh, maybe it's the cheesiness in me that yeah. says hey this is cool this is fun but yeah i, I really do like this it's very well done it is very there's it is, a lot yeah. of detail there all right, number 18, the Hershey Bears. Mm -hmm. And this just screams chocolate to me. Because, yeah, I know. I mean, That's what I was just going to say. chocolate, oh, chocolate man. Yeah. <laughs> Same kind of yep. colors. and uh, Yeah, I don't know. Just something about this I like. Mm -hmm. It's just simple. It's, you know, the classic circle logo. you got the hockey stick in the middle. The bear looks fierce. He's not mm -hmm. too detailed. It's kind of like a, almost a silhouette of a bear. Right. Just a two-color two color tone yep. thing there. I don't know. I just like it. Yeah, to me, simple. the color play is brilliant. Yeah. yeah. In my opinion, this is an instant thumbs up for me. Uh, this just screams a hockey logo. Number 17, the Lee Valley Phantoms. Who I believe used to be the Philadelphia Phantoms. But, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I've always liked this logo. I remember going to watch the Philadelphia Phantoms play the Fredericton Canadians back in the 90s. And I always loved this logo as a kid. Yeah. And uh, they kind of ruined it for me with the Lee Valley at the top. I just wish it just had a set Phantoms. But, uh, yeah, I, I like this logo. It's It's unique and... There's a bit of a play off the Philadelphia Flyers. Yeah, definitely. On the side and yeah. 
No, I'd be a big fan if it was just the logo itself, you know, no writing. I mean, yeah. you really don't need the writing, in my opinion. Like, you're going to know the franchises, right? Uh, it's still a thumbs up for me. Do you like the, the Phantom's font? Uh, not kind really. Of like scratchy? Not really? really. Oh, I, like, I like it. The uh, number 16, Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins. What's your thoughts on this one? Since uh, oh, you're the Penguins fan, I'll let you... Uh... Yeah, I mean, if you've checked out the previous videos, I'm not the biggest fan of the Pittsburgh logo. I was more of a fan of the logo they used in the 90s when Lemieux was there and Yager and so on. Right. Um, so based on this being a little similar to the current Pittsburgh Penguins logo, of course there's more detail in the Penguin, but in my opinion, this doesn't really work. I like everything else. It's just the Penguin itself just kind of ruins it for me really i think that's the best part really i like the penguin yeah yeah i'm just gonna say neutral for this i really think it could be a lot better presented uh i get that you know they're playing directly off the pittsburgh franchise and they want that incorporated as well i mean hell if it wasn't for the wilkesbury guys coming up this year pittsburgh wouldn't be back in the cup final in my opinion but yeah i'm just gonna stay neutral on this one i'll respect that number 15 the bridgeport sound tigers now I don't necessarily like the actual tiger itself. It's a little busy. You can't like it's it's a little higher the eyes. Right. However, I I love orange and blue together. Mm. There's just something about orange and blue. Same with blue and yellow. I really like blue and yellow. Right. Uh, that's based. That that's my reasoning for this one. I just like uh, uh, blue and orange. Why sound tigers? Why can't it just be Bridgeport Tigers? I don't know. I'm what sure the th hell's a sound tiger? I'm sure there's I'm sure there's a backstory. I, I don't know what a sound tiger is either, but. I mean, it, that just makes no sense. I mean, what's coming off the tiger here? Is that sweat? Is he sweating? I, I don't know. Yeah. But to me, if I look at that real quick, that doesn't look like a tiger to me. No? No. What's it look like? Just a cat. House cat. House cat? Kind of looks like a Yeti. A Yeti? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can see that. But yeah, why not just Bridgeport Tigers? Why Sound Tigers? That's the most odd name ever. I like it. I tigers make sounds. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but I like it. Yeah, there's something there. I need to look at, into that. That doesn't make sense. All right, the uh, Roadrunners. Yeah. This looks hand drawn. It, it doesn't look digitally created at all. <laughs> like, really, it doesn't. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty cartoony, kind of simple. Kind of got the old school hockey gloves. Mm. It has, yeah, it has kind of an old school kind of feel to it. Yeah, those look like the skates Yager wore in 91. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, but no, uh, there could have been a lot more detail here. Um, it, it looks like a rough sketch that was scanned, and then they quickly colored it in, and then that was it. There was no further detail added once they digitized it. Uh, I like this one. Really? I like the colors. I like the play on Arizona. I even like the font at the bottom. I like this one. Hmm. Interesting. We don't we don't always agree on everything. No, I'm not a fan of this one. This one's getting a thumbs down. Oh. Uh. All right, the mm. Syracuse Crunch, and that's the Crunch. Crunch Man in the background there. What's your thoughts on this one? Captain Crunch has been eating his vitamins. Yes. Look yeah. at this. I instantly like this. You know, it pops. It's unique. It's very unique. I'm not a big fan of the S, though. When I see that, I instantly think of Sportsnet. It but does have that. But yeah. that's just me. It looks identical to the Sportsnet S. Yes, it does. Uh, yeah, it looks right. like a direct font rip off there so i'm not a big fan of that but yeah it's still a thumbs up i really like this it's yeah. well done i like the colors too kind of like gray and, and blue mm -hmm. or silver whatever you want to call it all right the cleveland monsters and i just thought this was so unique that mm -hmm. i had to rank it uh you know in the top 15 because you don't really know right. what kind of monster it is you can just kind of see the the eyes is it like is it the loch ness monster is it the you know some kind it's obviously some, mm -hmm. some kind of water monster cleveland's right on uh, on the water there on the lake so yeah i don't know there's just something about it that was just mysterious and it, i mean it has nothing to do with hockey but mm -hmm. i just like it this is instantly my new favorite really that's how much i like it really mm -hmm. thumbs up i have absolutely nothing bad to say about this and normally i'm not a fan of putting your city and your team name and so on but man i don't know why i love these colors i love the font choices it all just goes so perfect this blows my mind like i didn't think you'd hate it but i didn't think you'd love it love it wow all right, the San Antonio Rampage. So very unique logo. I don't think there's a cow on, or a bull on any other uh, 
yeah any other uh, logo up there i'd be a bigger fan if it didn't say san antonio if it's just the bowl and rampage i I can just the bowl um i'd be a a lot bigger fan of it for sure but uh no i mean i don't hate it i don't overly like it i'm still gonna going to give it a thumbs up i do think it's really solid it was done very well it's it's mean looking it's yeah it pops it definitely pops but i'm just not a fan of the san antonio at the top yeah i'll agree with me the san jose barracuda so obviously the San Jose Sharks yeah. uh, affiliate team. Yeah, I really like this logo. I just, me, I, I'm a big fan of the San Jose logo. I think, right. I think you are too. Yeah, I am. Uh, sorry, I the am. San Jose Sharks logo. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I just like this one. He's got the hockey stick. He's got right. gloves on. He looks mean. The, the play in the background with the fins and whatever. Best way to sum this up: if the San Jose Sharks current logo and the Anaheim Ducks current logo had a baby this would be the logo you think so no really it's kind of like the two of them mashed together yeah a in little my bit. opinion I, I, based on yeah, the I color can, play and i whatnot. can see that yeah but yeah i'm still a fan of it but to me it almost looks a little too busy but that's just me i mean like the shark fins in the back do they really need to be there that color doesn't really blend with the rest of the logo as well as the uh, the font at the bottom that's one of my favorite parts really yeah yeah so it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb and doesn't really match everything else oh. but that's just me Number nine, the Hartford Wolfpack. Yeah, I do like this one. You know, the, I'm familiar with this logo. I've seen yeah. it quite a few times. Uh, it's definitely a thumbs up. I really, really like this logo. It's yeah, a, the wolf's really well done. I yeah, like it. Really well done. He's mean. He's he's angry. He's. I'm not really sure what that is coming up over. Is that? Yeah, I think he's ripping through. Yeah. Say the logo or or whatnot. It's, but no, I really like this one. It's cool. And the the font, you can see the dimension of the font. It looks 3D. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Very unique. I like this one a lot. Yeah, I got no complaints here. Great colors as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Charlotte Checkers. At Checkers. This is an odd shape. The, you know, it's like the, the triangle with the it circle is. at the top, whatever that shape is called. I'm sure there's a name for it. But for whatever reason, I really like this logo. I don't know if it's the, the colors of the the black mm. and, the, and the deep red. Right. Or what, but... For whatever reason, I like this logo. Well, this, this again screams an NBA franchise to me. And also Checkers. Dude, that, that's a terrible name. And why do you have a polar bear if you're Charlotte Checkers? And you have a checkerboard? I'm sure, I'm sure there's a backstory. Or a checker checkers. piece that made it all the way to the other side. So now he's a king. You know, something like that. But Checkers? Oh, man. I'm not a fan of that name. Whatsoever. I like it. I like it. I still think the logo's very well done. Yeah, I'm uh, just not a big fan of the team name as well as having a polar bear in there. When the hell was did you last see a polar bear in Charlotte? <laughs> maybe they have a zoo. Maybe. maybe. Checker the bear. From Checker the bear. Maybe. Who knows? Utica Comets. I'm a big space geek. I like Star mm. Wars. I like Star Trek. I like astronomy. I like everything space. You instantly hooked me with comets. Uh, I think I said this in their mascot video. Right. Uh, I, I don't know. I just. And I also like uh, blue and green together. Hmm. So it's, it's, it says hockey with the puck and the whatever and like, you know, the comet. Yeah. I just like it. I don't know why. I just like it. Comets, uh, man, that just really sticks out like a sore thumb. I wish th- that word was just somehow blended better. I hate the green. You know, it oh. looks like snot. I'm what? Not, I'm not a fan of that. The green and blue just looks dreadful. Oh, what about Vancouver? Together. It, it's dreadful. Oh. Vancouver. Vancouver fans are not going to be happy. They're already not happy with us. <laughs> I'm sorry, but green and blue, no knock on Vancouver. Green and blue, I'm just not a fan of those two together. Thumbs up. Number six, the Texas Stars. Now, I really, really mm. liked when Dallas, the Dallas Stars, redesigned their logo into that new one they have. It's one of my favorite logos in the, in the mm-hmm. NHL. This has a kind of a play off that. Yeah, um, big time. It's... It's unique. It says where it's from, you know, the, the Texas Star. It says Texas literally without like being shoved in your face with font and stuff. It's just, it was well, it was designed well. I really mm-hmm. like this logo a lot. No, it definitely works. Um, you know, I almost wish it was kind of more unique, mm-hmm. you know, instead of uh, basically ripping off the Dallas Stars completely. But no, I mean, it works. This is going to get a thumbs up for me. I think it is well done. Um, it's kind of good wordplay in a way, you know, tying it all together. So This was the one I was worried about that you would hate. So No, I don't I'm, overly hate I'm it. I'm glad you kind of like it. Mm-hmm. All right, the Grand mm-hmm. Rapid Griffins. So there's a lot going on in this logo. you got the Griffin who is very detailed, very yep. angry. He's coming over the city. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got Griffins at the bottom in a yep. very unique font. 
I, I really like this level a lot. Yeah, so do I. I have absolutely no complaints on this one. Instant thumbs up. I really, really like this one. The only thing I don't Still like... Still not my favorite, though. Is, the, is the color of the griffin. I don't... Oh. It's just... I don't know. It's got a weird goldish poop color or something. I don't know. I don't... I <laughs> wish it was more poop. yellow, I think. Goldish poop, yeah. Nice. That's, that's, another, that's the official color term. There's my tag word. Nice. <laughs> nice. Kudos. Kudos. Number four, the Milwaukee Admirals. I like pirates. Mm. I, I, I'm, I watched uh, two of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies recently. Mm. The second last one and then the, the most recent one that's in theaters right now. Right. I'm, in a, I'm on a big pirate kick right now. So I think that's why I, I ranked this so high. I really like it. It's mean. I like the colors, the blue and the white, and the different shade of the blue, more of a sky blue. Yep. I really like it. No, this is really well done. Uh, everything really ties together. Absolutely 100%. I have no complaints on this one. I really like it. Excellent. That's yeah. What about up. the city name being on it? Well, I mean, obviously, you know, if it just had admirals, I think that would be a lot better. Uh, <laughs> I, I remember I, this one. I knew you hate this logo. This is the number, so number uh. three, San Diego, San Diego Calls. I love this logo. I like the colors, the orange and the blue and the white. You can tell it's hockey. He's got the right. hockey stick. He's got the hockey gloves. Uh. He, he looks mean and cue the hate. Why gulls? Why gulls? Seagulls are probably one of the most annoying creatures on the planet. They are stupid and annoying and they just never shut up. I hate the name. I hate that they're representing seagulls. They gotta match the ducks. Uh, and I'm ducks. Why couldn't it just be San Diego baby ducks or something? Baby ducks? <laughs> that would be better than a seagull. A baby duck would have more badass attitude than a seagull. I hate seagulls. I hate them with a passion. But no, I, the logo is well done, though. I give I give them that. But man, I hate that name, Gulls. Funny story. We once saw a seagull eat an entire chocolate bear. Was it, <laughs> See? Was it a Mr. Big Bear? It was something big. Uh, I'm not sure. He but ate the whole thing. That's seagulls for you. And they don't even chew, man. They just swallow whole. Yeah. They don't even know what they're eating. <laughs> and then they just look around. So stupid. Number two, Bakersfield Condors. Mm, not a fan of the font. I really like the logo itself, you know, with the bird, the hockey stick. I really like that, but man, I'm not a, font, not no, a fan of that I, font. I love it. This really? was almost number one. Almost number one? I, I actually had it ranked number one for a while, and then I changed it. Oh my God. In the last couple of days, yeah. I just, wow. again, I love blue and orange. I yeah. I love it, and I That's love the bird. Apparent. I love the hockey stick. Hmm. Um, All right. Yeah, I really like this one. Yeah, just not a fan of the font. Number one, the Manitoba Moose. I love the colors, the two shades of blue, with the white yep. and the silver, the gray. Uh, angry looking moose, you can see the circle with the trees in the background. Mm -hmm. I just think this is very well designed uh, visually and just it just works. I love it. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very well done. Um, if I had to critique a little, I mean, if you look real fast, it, to me it looks more like a reindeer than an actual a moose. reindeer? No But way. that's just me. Like a very... Old reindeer, very old reindeer. Yeah, but I know, it, it doesn't instantly scream moose to me. Oh. But no, it is very well done. He looks angry. He looks, he looks pissed. I like. Well, it. yeah, he's old. He's old. <laughs> Everyone angry is old, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what was your favorite Cleveland uh, monsters? Yeah, the monsters. Really? Hands down, that was my favorite. Wow. Hands down, not even a competition. Not, that is nothing was one. even close. Nope, not even close. That surprises me. Loved it. it. Wow. That's amazing. Well, thanks for joining me here today and looking at all these logos. Oh, this was fun. Thank you guys at home for watching. We really appreciate it. What was your favorite logo? Make sure you tell me down below in the comments. This is your first video on Post to Post. I hope you hit the subscribe button. And if you liked the video, hope you hit the like button. And we'll see you in the next one. Adios.